Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pick up a domain name from namesilo.com. This is one of the two name registrar that I like using. The other one is Namecheap, and I'll have a video for how to buy a video, um, how to buy a domain name through them also. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is you need to create a new account. So I already have one, but I wanted to show you what you would need to fill out. Username, password, security question, address. Fill it out as you would any um, online form or anything that you sign up with. So once you're done with that, um, make sure um, you don't have to be logged in. But for the purpose of this instructional video, I'm going to be logged into my account first, and then I'm going to be buying my domain name. So I've logged into my name silo account. You can see here. And I'm back on the home page of the site, and I know exactly the domain I want, so let me type that in really quickly. And I know that this website is available. I'm just going to quickly click this, and it's going to ask me my service. Um, I normally leave this at none. Name server, if you have the server where your website's going to be um, hosted, you can enter it right now. You can enter it here and here, and of course, you can always enter it after um, you've registered everything. Auto renew, I usually put no. This is one of the reasons why I like Name Silo a lot, um, because for the um, privacy setting, the Who's This privacy, they do not charge you extra. You can see here that it is included free and set to years. And then um, I get a discount if I register 40 more nine domains. So that's not an issue right now. So here's kind of an itemized list. So this is the domain name I'm getting. I have the who's this, pol who's this privacy on only this domain and the full price. I hit continue. And then I usually pay with PayPal. Okay, now remember, if you pay with PayPal, after you're done clicking through PayPal, you have to return here to make sure that your transaction is completed. Just because you push all the buttons in PayPal, it does not mean that the transaction went through. So I'll put okay going to connect me to my PayPal account. Log in. Continue. I had a balance on my PayPal account. so, And then I accept their terms and condition. And I'm going to place my order. And now the web domain is mine. Very, very simple. So in um, a future video, which I will put the link to at the, at the bottom here, I'll show you how to add your name server if you didn't do it during um, the time you initially register or purchase the domain. All right, thanks for stopping by and watching.